Hi guys, this is Lucy from Book Widgets, and I'm going to show you how to take secure exams with your students inside Book Widgets, and you'll also need the Safe Exam Browser. So we've made a configuration of both tools that makes it easy for you to use as a teacher and also as a student. Step one, install the Safe Exam Browser. Go to Google, look up Safe Exam Browser, and the first one that pops up here is the right website. So go to Safe Exam Browser or to download and just download it on your computer to test it yourself as a teacher. But it's also important that all your students download it on their own computer. So there's a download section right here. Students can download it for Windows, Mac OS or uh, iOS. So this is something that needs to be downloaded on their device. So make sure they have a Windows or Mac device. It also works on iPads. Step two, create your book widgets exam. The next step is going to bookwidgets.com to create your digital exam. Just sign in and get started. So this step you should already know you're already using book widgets to create digital test assignments, homework, or in this case, a digital exam. Just go to widgets and cl click on the create widget button or click here on create a widget and choose for the right widget. In this case, when you're creating an exam that you want to lock inside the safe exam browser, you'll need to use the quiz, the worksheet, or the split worksheets. So only these three widgets work with the Safe Exam Browser. Just click on it and start adding your questions. Let's do a quick test about Europe. When you've added all your questions, make sure to take a look at the right reporting settings. It's important that your students are enabled to submit their answers. And of course, there are, there's also an exam mode, and this allows you to put a time limit on the exam. So if I want them to just have 30 minutes, I can give them 30 minutes. You can also give them 60 minutes like this and change the number. Then there are some extra settings here in the general options. Take a look at the correction options here uh, to not show the correct answers when the quiz is done or when you have enabled this to just add a password on the answers. So your students are prohibited to go back to the questions in your exam to take a look at them. And of course, you can show all the points associated with each question and take a look at the question order and numbering so you can put all the questions in a random order for every single student when they open the exam the questions will be in a different order take a look at all the other options if that's something you might use step three enable the safe exam browser settings in book widgets then the most important one is here, the Save Exam Browser. So with Book Widgets, we made it pretty easy for you to use Book Widgets to lock the exam inside the Save Exam Browser so your students cannot open any other tools, apps, or browser tabs. So just click on it and enable the Save Exam Browser here. So the first thing you have to keep in mind is that this only works inside a learning management system. So you'll have to share your widget inside a learning management system and then students will be prompted to open it with the Safe Exam Browser. Keep in mind that Book Widgets integrates in lots of different learning management systems. So you can use it inside Google Classroom, inside Microsoft Teams for Education, a Smart School, Moodle, Canvas, Blackboard. Schoology and so on. So when you enable the Save Exam Browser here, there is a settings password. This is a part password you need to give to your students so they can start your exam. And there is a quit or unlock password. This is actually some kind of safety password for when something goes wrong. You, as a teacher, give the password to your students and they can quit the exam. In almost all cases, you won't need these advanced settings. 
When you're done, take a look at the preview. So you can see the exam you're about to share with your students. Step four, share the book widgets exam in your LMS with students. Okay, when you're entirely done, you have your questions, you have your right settings. So make sure that your students can submit the exam and make sure to go to the general options and enable the safe exam browser, then share it in your inside your LMS. So I'm using book widgets here in Google Classroom. So I'm just going to share it right to Google Classroom, pick a course, geography, and send it to my Google Classroom. Again, they need a startup password, so I have to give it to them in order for them to start. Keep in mind, you have to use this using a learning management system that I listed. So Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, Smart School, Blackboard, Moodle, Schoology, and Canvas. So make sure you use the right way to share your exam inside the learning management system. And step five, students make the book widgets exam using the Safe Exam Browser. For the last step, I log into my Google Classroom as a student. So this is a learning management system I'm using in combination with book widgets right now. So I go to my classroom here. They can see it in the stream right here, or they can go to Classwork to see all the assignments. So this is the one I just shared with my students as a teacher, and I have to make this as a student. As soon as I or my students click on this one, they will see the exam right here. Because I enabled the Safe Exam Browser on this book we just exercised, on this book we just test, um, they are able to click on it, but they will be prompted to open it inside the Safe Exam Browser. So let's open the Safe Exam Browser. I will be asked to, of course, add the startup password because otherwise I won't be able to start the exam. Now I can start the exam in the Safe Browser. So my students won't be able to go anywhere. So they won't be able to go here and they won't be able to quit it unless they get uh, the quit password. But in this case, they don't, they don't need a quit password because they have to make the exam. You can see the exam mode here, so the time limit that is counting down. When they click on submit, they can send their answer. So they are logged into Google Classroom and also logged into your widget right here. The only thing they have to do is click on send. So they can click here to quit the Safe Exam Browser just like that. The last thing you have to do as a teacher is of course, grade your students work. Go to bookwidgets.com and go to the grades and reporting tab. Here you can find all the work your students submitted. So you can find the exam and start grading. I hope this video helps you a lot taking your exams in a secure mode, making sure your students cannot cheat, access the internet or any other tools they don't need to use.